YouTube is one of the best things that's ever happened to me, which is why I actually want to take some time to talk about this. And and I'm actually, I, I hit record. I want to uh, publish this video and, and talk about something that is just on my brain. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. So when I, in like my real world life, when people find out that I have a YouTube channel, I, I kind of cringe at it. I'm super embarrassed about it because yeah, it's a, it's a reaction channel. And there, there's something about, I, I don't know, a guilt that, that kind of emerges. The reason I started a reaction channel is I, I did want to, to start an online presence to work for myself, right? And do it in content creation. If you think about it, to go into content creation, there needs to be an aspect of, I don't know, what, 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 narcissism, right? Like, let's just, like, there has to be that, right? Wanting to be liked by people. So there is that. But the main thing I was trying to justify with content creation is actually my biggest passion and my biggest, uh, my favorite thing to do for fun is to play video games. So I wanted to justify playing my video games. That is the reason I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So I wanted to start streaming and my unique take for it was I would play my video games while I was walking on my treadmill for hours. So I actually ended up losing a lot of weight and getting a lot healthier by playing video games, right? That's what I wanted to kind of make. If there was something to share, it's, hey, these quote unquote wastes of time, if we find ways to make them more productive, hey, that, that's probably a better way to justify doing the thing. And you can you don't have to fully give up some things that are maybe guilty pleasures, you know what I mean? So I wanted to, I wanted to give that message. To get people to click to your live stream, people need to know who the freak you are. So the best way to do that is to film videos and publish them and, and get, you know, an audience. I learned that from Harris Heller, Senpai Gaming, like just watching his channel. Thankfully, the dude lives not that far from me. So really kind of him uh, several years ago, we, we actually went out to lunch and we just got to talk shop. It was fun. But that's, besides, but that's besides the point. I wanted to start creating videos to generate this audience so that I could stream more. Okay. At the time, I was leading a sales an enterprise sales organization team. Okay, not organ that makes it sound, we were a team of 10. So I, I was very, very busy at work and with my actual career, I would not uh, sacrifice family time. <laughs> I also would not sacrifice, was not willing to sacrifice my gym time. My fitness has helped keep demons at bay for me. So I didn't have the time to ideate and produce and edit pretty, uh, you know, intense content. So I was like, what is, what, what, what content does have the lowest barrier to entry? And I remember years before that, I was uh, driving to the airport one time and this dude showed up, No Life Shack showed up on my phone and he was watching Metallica. And it was so fun watching a dude's first time listening to Metallica. Cause that's what I grew up. That's how I learned to play the guitar. I learned to play the guitar playing Metallica songs. So I, I, I watched No Life Shack uh watch that and i was like dude that's cool so fast forward to this time where i wanted to again build this audience and i hopefully one day have an audience so that i could do this more but yeah we started doing reaction videos it started off with comedy and I, I wanted to watch comedy that was deemed very uh you know offensive but i wanted to not take offense <laughs> so that that was one of the things we went through and through that found like Norm MacDonald, right? And so we, we started off, that was like our first growth in the size of the channel was uh, reacting to Norm MacDonald and, and getting to know him because I had never listened to his comedy and he, lo and behold, became my favorite comedian. And then that's, we, we established a Patreon account. Someone on Patreon heard me on one of my videos talk about Carl Jung. So he was like, if you like Carl Jung and you've talked about being a guitarist and liking music, you should check out Tool. So I started listening onto the channel Tool. Now that that's when we first started doing music reactions. Fast forward a few years later, Tool is now my favorite band, period. I've now gone to watch them live three times. That was fun rabbit hole, but that's how music started. So the channel started growing. And again, the reason I was doing this is because I was able to record one video or two before I even started work because a reaction channel, you don't want our video you don't want to edit it you're not going to do a retake it's going it has to be the authentic i hit record we watch the thing i share my thoughts and upload it it has to be real that also means i don't like the only time you spend is in the recording and then i upload it's again very easy so we 
that's how we got into the in, into music, right? And then people started suggesting other things, and you know, we like got into someone suggested Harry Mack once, and we listened to Harry Mack, and we we developed some friends there, and then just like a lot of things, all, all of a sudden helped the channel grow. There was a we we were like Nightwish, and then European metal bands. That was a way we also got another niche there. Then eventually, you know, Danny Logan, uh, who was a patron, he suggested we check out. Um, a country song along with a few other folks who were on a stream just like this once and sorry I gotta fill up my mate here a little bit so they suggested some country stuff because I've always hated country Colton if you're still here bro my friend if you're still here you remember you tried to get me to listen to country in high school and I freaking hated that stuff but we started getting into country and country reactions like and I think the take was right uh, I'm this immigrant and hated this music especially and we made fun of this music in latin america or at least the idea of it but then we finally sat down and gave it a chance and it was freaking worth it because i love country now so again we're we were capturing interesting things but all of this is a long-winded way of saying i i can see why it, people watch and i'm glad people watch because i've watched videos in the past and it, and it hit me reaction videos seem to be uh, tapping into the the ability for humans to vicariously live, relive an experience through someone else, right? So when we share something that means to, something to us and that hope that they have that same experience, that's what's happening. So watching someone have their first experience transports you to your first time and we just want to keep reliving, reliving that. So I think, you know, there's that's what I would guess is like the scientific reason these things are a thing. Nonetheless, there's a guilt level to this. It is easy to produce. There is a piece of cosmic justice here. You can't, most of reactions that you film to music, you can't get paid for. And I've actually been super grateful to that because of this, like, again, I, I don't I don't see any value that I'm really adding here besides commentary and the opportunity of giving someone else the chance to relive that thing, right? So it's been a, a blessing that people then come and donate and, and want us to keep filming these videos and it's awesome. But we're still trying to see if this hypothesized idea of if I can generate, become friends with people, right? My, the subscribers here, they're subscribers, I think, to the channel because somehow we had an experience where we connected over that thing, right? Whatever it, whatever vid, reaction video they saw, we connected and cool. And the high, and the experiment was by having that, when I then do finally have the time to produce our own full blown content, hopefully people want to watch that from all various aspects of life because we still connected over something whether it was country a metal song a, a funny comedy bit that was the experiment and we're trying it out frankly our in our, our initial experiments it's not working out too well you know what i mean we we've only put out one episode and we're going to keep doing this but like we're we, we want to record this these series of me trying quote unquote uh country things for my first time so one of them was working the ranch we're going to go to a rodeo I'm going to go to this tractor pull thing this month. All of these different things, you know what I mean? But um, that's been the experiment. So TBD. Um, so reaction channels, even me. So me having a reaction channel. Yeah, like uh, when people dog on them, it actually made like I get it. But I also never want that to make me be ungrateful, though, for it's been an amazing experience for me. And I've made I've made friends doing this. So I also don't want to, you know, throw it away, but it's just interesting. There's an existential crisis thing, if you if you will, uh, going on here. So, yeah, to to anyone who watches, to who subscribes, who then actually monetarily supports the channel. Gosh, thank you. But the main thing we'll need to do, right, is uh, keep expanding, keep growing. And hey, freak, eventually we'll find, again, those pieces of fully original content that resonate with people and Hopefully that works because if, if there is something, a few things, messages that I'd, I'd want to get out there. Good things in life require sacrifice. Yes. But those sacrifices might not be, might not need to be as, as uh, dramatic as we think. Working hard, pursuing a career and pursuing a very healthy uh, family, really, that should, that does not need to come at the expense of your physical health. Also, if you have some guilty pleasures, some are, let's be, I mean, let's remind ourselves, some are way worse than others. Things like drugs come to mind, probably a good thing to sacrifice, in my opinion, okay? No judgment here, but probably a good thing to give up. But yeah, some guilty pleasures that we have, 
are there ways that you can integrate them in your life where again you're not ex you're not sacrificing something to do it for example i think it's a i i'm proud of myself for finding this way of playing my video games while i walk you know what i mean it's uh i i'm uh, yeah like i lose weight playing video games it's cool but yeah there's a few messages i w would love to get out there which is why yeah we keep we keep creating content and lastly what's what's become like a, a change of mindset has been like now i have a six-year-old and a three-year-old they love watching our youtube videos and so i'm just so happy i'm gonna have things that they can just watch like i can't help but imagine right now like my daughters when they're grown up are watching this right now and i can in a way transport through time and, and tell them how much i love them you know like this is cool so reaction videos reaction channels what do you think um a lot of the criticisms about him are spot on and i'm very self-aware so we'll keep trying to figure it out